and welcome to Mirror Time in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a spooky special for Halloween. I'm going to be making creepy crawly spider cupcakes. Our little spiders will be sat on top of some chocolate cupcakes with orange buttercream icing. So these would be perfect for a little Halloween treat. So let's get cooking. So to make this recipe you will need 175 grams of butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, 115 grams of self-raising flour, 40 grams of cocoa, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and yes, that is in addition to the flour being self-raising, three eggs, that are you, and a splash of milk or cream. So before we start making the cake mixture, you just want to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. So we're now going to cream together the butter and the sugar. We'll apologise for having to speak over the oven. It is a bit loud, but not much I can do about that if I want the cupcakes to actually bake. So let's cream together the butter and the sugar. I've got a big bowl here and we've got our butter which has been softened to room temperature and I've cut it up into bits so that it's a bit easier to work with. So we'll pop that into the bowl and we can pour in the sugar as well. So you can beat the sugar and the butter together just using a wooden spoon or you can use an electric whisk. Electric whisk is a bit faster so that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that gave me a fright. Well, the, uh, Trip must have switched. It's done that a couple of times this week. I'll go switch it back on, sorry about that. Sorry about that, that's the light back on. Okay, so you just want to beat this together until it looks light and fluffy. So that's what you're looking for, it's pale and fluffy and all the sugar and butter is combined. So now we just have to add in the rest of the ingredients. So it doesn't really matter too much what order you do this in. I'm going to add in the eggs and the milk and then the dry ingredients. So let's crack on. Uh, that's so funny. One egg. The shell of that one was a bit sharp. Okay, and then the splash of milk. Just give that a mix round before we add in the dry ingredient. Okay, so now we can sift in the dry ingredients. So I've got the flour here. Oops, and not to pour it outside the bowl. Okay, we'll sift the cocoa in too. These cobwebs are sort of threatening to get in the bowl. <laughs> Mind their own. Finally, we can add our half teaspoon of baking powder. We'll not bother sifting that. Okay, now let's mix it all in together. You don't need an electric whisk for this, you're liable to send all the flour flying. Best to just do this with a wooden spoon or a metal spoon. There you go, that's all come together nicely now. So that's the sort of consistency you'd expect. Fabulous, so that's all come together now. So all we've got... Did you hear that? It's like something smashed in the other room. I'll go see what it is. Halloween ones, some little pumpkin ones for the occasion. Okay, 
I'll just move this out of the way so that you can see. So the easiest way to fill your cupcake cases is to use two spoons. You just need to pick it up with one spoon and tease it in with another. You can use a piping bag if you want. I don't really feel like it warrants that. This is probably just the, the simplest way to do it. And I'm just doing the quantity by eye as well. If you're doing these to sell them, etc., then you can be a little bit more careful to try and get them even, but I'm not too fussed. No, it's, uh, it's not a bake off, is it? Everything doesn't need to be exact. Mainly just for me to eat. Okay, so just for a little tip, what you can do if you've got any bits that are just sticking up a bit. So this one, for example, is you can just put a little bit of water on your finger and just dab it down. And that means that you won't have any of those little burnt tips that you sometimes get after you cook them. Right, so those are all ready to go in the oven for 15 minutes. Here we go, after about 15 minutes, that is 12 chocolate cupcakes fresh from the oven. So, we've just got to let them cool now. So it'll be about five minutes in here until they're cool enough to just move on to a cooling rack. And while we wait for them to cool, we can move on to the decorations. So to decorate your cupcakes, you will need 75 grams of butter, 200 grams of icing sugar, one or two tablespoons of milk or cream, orange extract, orange food colouring. What is that? Is that? Is that a bit of glass? How did that get in there? And to make your spiders you will need 12 Maltesers, 12 chocolate buttons and 12 cola laces. So I'm going to show you first how to turn your cola laces into spider legs. So you just want to lay your cola lace out straight and then get a knife and just cut down. Ah! Oh! I cut my finger. It's bleeding. Oh. Just a scratch. So after that, I think I'll just use a pair of scissors instead. So what you want to do is just cut down the middle of the lace and then half that cut that in half and again cut that in half so you're getting four little legs out of half of a cola lace. Now for the orange icing, you're going to pop your butter and your sugar into a mixing bowl. Don't worry about sifting the icing sugar, you really don't need to do it as long as you beat the butter and the sugar well together then they'll combine and there shouldn't be any left. So you can see that it's starting to get there. So at this stage we can add a little bit of milk just to help it along. Just a small amount at each time. You don't want to add too much and then it get all um, you know, too runny. Okay, I'm going to move this closer to me so I can give it a proper beating. <laughs> okay, it's nearly there but it's still quite dry so I'm going to add another little splash of milk. 
Whew, okay, so with a little elbow grease that's now at the right consistency. So I'm going to add the extract in first and what I'm going to do to measure it is just use the cap. Okay, so that's probably about half a cap. And I'll add that in. Mmm, certainly smells orangey. Now I did actually initially try to use uh, orange juice but it just wasn't strong enough to carry the flavour through in case you were thinking of using that yourself. Okay, so we'll give this a mix in. And this can loosen the consistency a little bit as well, so um, you don't want to overdo it with the milk. Okay, I'll just give that a little taste, see what I think. Mmm, yeah. I think that's enough for me. It's just got a little subtle orange flavour to it, um, which is all I think it needs really. I don't want to overpower it. Okay, so I'm happy with the flavour. Let's add the colour. And as I said before, start with a very little bit. So this is food colouring gel. So it's going to have a very uh, strong colour. So you'll need to add a very small amount. Then see how the colour is doing. Okay. So that for me is looking a little bit pale. So I'll add another blob. Okay, well I'm happy with that colour. Let's get it on the cupcakes. So I've got my icing in an icing bag here. Uh, if you don't have an icing bag or nozzle etc then just add it on with a spoon. You're obviously going to be covering it with the other decorations so it's a big deal is it? Okay so I'm just doing a little swirl starting on the outside and working my way to the middle. Like I say, I'm just doing something simple because as I say we will be adding the other decorations on top. Okay, so we're going to get a chocolate button, stick that in the middle, and then get a Malteser, and pop that in as the head. And then we just need to add the eight legs, so you can bend them so it looks like the spiders are crawling around. Just a case of adding all the legs in. All right, so you should now have 12 little spider friends. Here's one of mine. I think they're quite cute, really. What do you think? Well, either way, I think it's time for a taste test. Die for. Ugh. 